Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got this stereo cabinet. I've had it for quite a few years. The stereo is long gone. Uh, so I thought, what can I do with it? So I've always wanted a wine cabinet or an alcohol cabinet. So that's what I'm going to turn this into. So the back of it's got this big gnarly hole in it. So I'm going to have to get rid of all that back paneling and replace that. But first things first, give it a really good wash. Make sure you get all the dirt off uh, any grease on there because your paint's not going to stick well if you have grease. It has all these little holes where you could lower or heighten the shelves and also little bits and pieces that need to be removed. It did have a glass door on it. That's long gone as well. So yeah, little bits of plastic where the hinges were. So I just removed those. And then took off the little bits and bobs and the two doors at the bottom of the cabinet. Put everything in a plastic bag and just label it cabinet so I know where to find them when I need them. So yeah, I just pulled everything off the back. That was relatively easy. It's only very thin stuff on there. And then pulled out all the nails that got stuck in there. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out. Hit the thumbs up button so more people can see my videos. So I just measure the back so I need to replace this. And my lovely husband cut that out for me because I hate using a skill saw. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to decorate this um, back panel with wine labels. Um, so I just googled free wine labels that had no copyright on them. And I just printed them out on my printer and then cut them out. So I just laid them out to see if they all fit. And just mucked around there until I got them how I wanted them. And then I just used Mod Podge and glued them all on. So I put plenty of Mod Podge on the paper and on the board. And just place those where you want them and just press firmly down, make sure there's no bubbles or wrinkles. Did a mixture of labels. I did some really big ones and some small ones. All different colours. Just make sure you smooth them right out. One little last piece. And there we have it. So just let that dry completely. Now I have to choose my colours for my cabinet. So I thought I'd do the board first and then just sort of pick from the board colours really. So it all matches. So I got this online. So just a little wine rack. That arrived in the post. So I just put that together. And that's just going to sit inside the cabinet.
fingers crossed that it would actually fit in there, and it did. So now I'm just going to test how far up my shelf needs to be. So that's why I'm putting it in there now. And then I can set those shelves at the right height. Just went and grabbed some wine bottles just to make sure that top one fits a bottle in there and it does so it's great. Right, pull it all back to bits and start painting. So I got some of the wood filler and I have to fill in all those other little holes now. Because I only need the ones where the shelf is going to rest on. So now that the board is completely dry, I'm just going to seal over the top with a layer of Mod Podge. I have these old um, doorknobs, they're a bit tarnished, so I just put a bit of water and a bit of vinegar into a pot and set those to the boil, and I boiled them for about 10 minutes. And take them off the heat and just sprinkle over some barkeeper's friend. This stuff's brilliant. And um, just rub with your fingers and hey presto, they come out really good, really clean. So they almost came out like a copper colour, so that's not really the colour I want, but at least I know what they look like now, clean. I may use these, I may not. Dunk it in, and yeah, that's sort of like a copper colour, quite pretty. So I spray painted two of them black. So now I need to scuff sand the cabinet before I, I apply my paint. I'm using um, Fusion Mineral Paint, so I just need a good scuff and a clean. did notice a couple of deep grooves in the top so I filled those with melted fill Just wiped it down with a damp cloth to make sure every last bit of dust was removed. So I've got my black paint but I am waiting for my other colour to arrive in the post. It's called Champlain? Champlain? Anyway, yeah, I'm waiting for that to arrive. Um, I do have another project that I've got at the moment so um, I'll have a go at that and then when this paint arrives we'll get into it. This is my other project I have so um, I'll just muck around with this until my paint arrives.
little bits I've missed. So I'm just going to do it with the paintbrush. You won't see them when the back's on, but I'll know they're there. So I'm going to do it. Just with a little paintbrush. These are the rollers that I'm using. They're microfiber rollers, they're really good. So they leave it nice and smooth. Um, yeah, I just got these from Cloud Tree in New Zealand. Brilliant. So let's go ahead and give the inside one more coat. So this shelf on the left, um, the white one, I'm thinking maybe a little bit of black. So I do have a spear, I'm gonna paint the spear black then I'll decide later which one I'm going to use for the um, shelf on the inside. So one more coat and it should be done and we'll just go ahead and put the back on, the shelves in, the knobs on the cupboards. and the wine racks inside. So when I put my back panel on, I've only got this little gap here with my nails, so I'm going to have to be careful not to um, overshoot that. So I'll just mark it, and then I'll mark it on my board so I know nail holes is going to be smack bang and all of that. Right, just wait for it to dry, and then I'll put it all together. So I stenciled these drawers, um, but I'm not sure whether they're silly or not. So um, I might just put them on and um, see. So that would go like that and it would open like that. Yeah, I don't know, it might be too much. So I might just paint paint them black. So if they were black, there, they would open up that colour. Yeah, I don't know. I might make that chosen once I put them on. And then if not, I'll just paint them while they're in situ. Right, put the little hoodackies in. It's a hard one. I have to nail that in and hammer that in. Next decision, what knobs do I use? I do have these little ones that were the original. Maybe I'll just paint those black and pop them back on. This one's a bit small. Wrong colour. I don't know. I 
this would go with my stencil. Ooh, um, I might just sand these ones back and paint these, I think. Yep, let's go for the plain ones. Let's paint those black. Do I go the light colour or shall I try the black? I think that light colour looks alright. Um, that's the black. Mm. Decisions, decisions. Um, no, definitely the lighter colour. Yeah, now I'll go with the lighter colour. So here's the final result. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments. Did I pick the right colours? Should I have done the black shelf? 
and what do you think of those mosaic type stencils on the cupboards? I'm happy with it, I like it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.